ओम नमः शिवाय स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ मास मीडिया स्टडीज वी विल गो थ्रू सेशन एट टाइम मैनेजमेंट फ्रॉम योर सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स ऑफ योर एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी स्किल न स्टूडेंट हेड देयर इज अ वेरी नाइस स्टोरी अबाउट समीर एंड हिज फादर न स्टूडेंट समीर वॉज अ वेरी लेजी बॉय एंड ही ऑलवेज पोस्टपॉन्ड हिज वर्क दो हिज फादर ट्राई टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टाइम बट ही वॉज नॉट वन हु वुड अंडरस्टैंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टाइम एंड हेंस ही ऑलवेज पोस्टपॉन्ड हिज वर्क न वन डिट हैपन सो दैट ही वो the he won the first prize in a singing competition and he was asked to collect the prize that very day but he was not bothered so he went to collect the prize the very next day but when he collected the prize that was of no use because the prize was a ticket to the circus show of the previous day so sami could not could not see the circus could not watch the circus hence samin learnt the value of time he learnt an important lesson that time and tide waits for none this is a saying no time and tide waits for none it's very true that when a time goes away it never comes back okay so we should we should use the time very effectively we should use the time very productively okay because ah uh, because uh, because the time that is that is uh, that is over will never come back so the time that you have in your hand you should use this productively you should not waste it you should use it effectively so students time management is the ability to to plan and control how you spend the hours of your day well and do all that you want to do it's very true no because you have only 24 hours 24 hours in a day you will not get any extra hours so whatever you are planning to do you have to complete that within that span of 24 hours so it's very important that you plan and execute that accordingly so that you can complete all the things that you have planned for in that stipulated time now an example of good time management skills would be when you decide to finish your homework immediately after school so you have time to watch tv later in the evening now after coming from school it sometimes happens if you feel that you are very tired hence you keep hence you postpone your completing your homework then what happens when at least after lot when you work you are literally tired and needs a break from your study or other work and you want to entertain yourself by watching tv but think of that knock of doing the homework is there in your mind and hence you cannot relax you cannot take the take the test of entertainment so it's very important to do things on time on time or before time so time management time time management is a thinking skill that helps you to complete tasks on time make a daily time table make a good guess at how long it will take you to do something submit homework and assignments before or or before or on time and waste time not waste time during the day time because day time it's a very long time you should not waste time you should use all the time you should you should use the time very effectively and productively now there are four steps for effective time management what are they avoid delay or postponing any planned activity organize your room and school desk so that you don't have to be harassed when you search for something develop a no disturbance zone where you can sit and complete important tasks now if you develop this one no disturbance zone that means when you are within that area no one will disturb you the other person will understand that yes you are doing something important and hence you will not be disturbed and you can do your work at a stretch at a go and complete that one next one is use waiting time productively it sometimes happens to us that we go somewhere and we are waiting for that particular hap- e- event to happen and we have to wait for 1 hour or 1 and half hour or 30 minutes something like that it is very used that if you can plan of at least in that idle time and in that waiting time that what you can do in the next few hours that will be effective at least you are not wasting the time next is prepare a to do list it's very important you know the next day the next day's to do list must be prepared the day before so that your work is already organized and you can just start of 1 2 3 4 5 6 because you have already made the list which one is the first one which one is the second one like that 
नेक्स्ट इज प्रायोरिटाइज दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू गिव इंपॉर्टेंस टू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट देन द मोर इंपॉर्टेंस देन द इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क लाइक वाइज दैट मीन्स सुपरलेटिव कंपेरेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव डिग्री रिप्लेस यूजलेस एक्टिविटीज विथ प्रोडक्टिव एक्टिविटीज यू शुड नॉट गेट इन्वॉल्व इन लॉट्स ऑफ यूजलेस एक्टिविटीज बिकॉज दैट इज ओनली अ वेस्टेज ऑफ टाइम बेटर यू शुड गेट इन्वॉल्व इन सम प्रोडक्टिव एक्टिविटीज एंड यूज योर टाइम प्रोडक्टिवली so students the four steps of time management are organize prioritize control and track that means you should plan your day to day to day activities you should make a time table and follow you should keep your surroundings and study table clean and mess free so that you don't have to, don't have to be harassed very important thing that you should keep the things back in their place because you are taking up thing and then you are using it and you are not replacing it at its place then next time when you will search for that particular a thing you will not get it at once you have to again search for that and that is time consuming so if you follow all those things it will ultimately save time next is prioritize that means you have to make a to do list and you should do you should do the mo- most more and then next important things like that next is control we have a control over our activities and time we avoid time wasters like chatting on the phone surfing gossip sites etc and focus on more important things definitely you should get involved in all these things but you should limit yourself you should not do all these things for hours and hours last one is track we identify and note where we have spent our time you can if you can identify where you have misused your time if you can identify the next time definitely you will not misuse your time in that same particular thing and you can use that time in some productive activity so organize prioritize control and track clear now it's again time to go to the website and watch the html one so that you can enrich your knowledge again and then there are a few activities which you can practice at your home we can you can practice at your home and solve the back questions in your class work copy so we are done with this self management skills entire unit 2 we are ending our class over here thank you om namah shivaya